Magnus Carlsen. This is his first World Championship match. The thing everybody mentions first is obviously World Champion. And um, I've started to, over the years, like identify with that more and more. I mean, it's nice, it's, it's opening it's opening uh, some doors and it's, it's a position of great privilege but I don't necessarily think it's very uh, it's very healthy. There was huge pressure it was as if the brain was just spinning instead of working properly. I think that's something of the most stressful that can be in sports to sit there three weeks against the same opponent and needing to have a good sleep every night and it's so stressful so much nerves. I guess in the few years before I became world champion, I was, most of the time I was pretty happy just traveling, playing tournaments, and most of the times I would be the best, and I was not that concerned with, with the world championship. It changed a bit in late 2012 and early 2013, but it was more like, uh, well, um, let's just try and get it, because why not? After I gained the title, um, the situation became very different because then I didn't want to, I didn't want to, didn't want to lose it. I didn't want any others to to take the title away from me. In the first, you have something to achieve that you haven't achieved before. After that, you either repeat or fall, fall back down, and psychologically, that's much more difficult. Even if you know about this phenomena and you think about it and you prepare for it, it's still, for a human being, that's how it is basically. And I think you will see comments from nearly all historical world champion having the same thoughts. I'm not necessarily that happy that I have it, I just, I'm, I just would be very unha unhappy to, to, to not have it. Whether he's going to continue to play world championship matches, that's both depending on being qualified and willingness to play. And uh, it's not for me to say uh, the prob uh, anything about the probabilities for either of those two, really. I think uh, he should, and he does, take one championship match at the time. If he were to lose a match, uh, would he be able to not try to qualify for the next one and like kind of get revenge? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not at all able to understand how he's able to play under that pressure and those conditions at all because it's uh, it's inhumane. If at some point he thinks that it's so much worse uh, thinking about losing uh, than it is a joy winning or um, games or tournaments, then he would just quit playing, I think. For how long do you see yourself motivated now to keep defend your title? Um, so I think before every single, uh, before and after every single match, uh, at least uh, the last three, it's been it's been a real question of whether I'm going to uh, going to play or I'm going to to play the next the next one also, and uh, I would say that's. Uh, Still, still the um, the same. Um, I will most probably play in 2021, and uh, um, if I if I were to win, I have no idea whether I would play the play the, the next one.